the YouTube. I've got a Thorotron Tesla core that I'm trying to get working here. I've got a halfway halfway voltage uh, multiplier there with a DC resonant charger hooked up to a incorrect kilovolt meter. Um, that's a 0.22 UF capacitor. There's a TGI3 32516, uh, 4700 picofarad tank capacitors, a few windings, and a core, uh, secondary coil that I've used on my vacuum tube tesla coils. But the modulator is working, and so is the all the thyrotrons also turning off. So I'll just show you. That's 2,000 cycles per second, all the way down to about 100. I've got some grid over voltage problems as you can see with arcing to the grid. Uh, we can do a single shot as well. And then maybe, what do we got? Slowly increase it. You can see that the tank circuit voltage got up very high there. Double. This is the tiny sparks. You can't really see them coming out, but pretty pathetic. Let's turn that down a bit. Unfortunately, where it, where it starts to over voltage like that, that's where it produces the biggest sparks. I need to get some reverse voltage protection going. As you can see, there's a tiny little spark coming out of it. Quite pathetic. But yeah, still a lot more work to do, unfortunately. You can see the voltage drops right down as this, as the pulse rate goes up. So it's basically just dragging all the power out, and then the voltage starts to build up again. But the discrete over voltage is a big, big problem. So there we go. That's it.